controls it. I told you. <laughs> She's boss. Yep, that's why I sit with her. <laughs> Can't get in trouble there, huh, Sarah? Nope. Nope. She's got my back. So this is a wonderful day to worship the Lord, right? Amen. Amen. And here, so here's what you have to do during worship today, because we're doing a lot of music. We got Brendan, <laughs> Sarah, and Theodore's here. They're out there. I think they're out there because you know everybody's making their tour with Davey. And so uh, we're doing extra music. Amen. And, and we won't be really preaching. So much. <laughs> Amen? No? Amen. But listen, here's what you gotta do. In, in between the songs, if, when I was young, hold on a second. When I was young, when we were growing up in church, like usually on Wednesday nights or Sunday nights, we'd have testimony time. Did anybody do that when you was young? I mean, we haven't done that in our church. Yeah. Not so much. But we, they'd have, in different ones. So, like that Free Will Baptist Church where I got saved over there in Pickerington, um, that. The uh, boy, it was fun because a lot of times, the, I mean, the people would give the same testimony every week. You know, some of them would and go on and on and on. Right, right, and you you could just about lip sync what they were going to say because you heard it already. But but they they were yeah. they were sincere yeah. and they were passionate about their testimonies, and that that shares God's awesomeness with others and the younger generation. Is, is where we're lacking on that. So that so be thinking in between the songs what testimony you're going you want to share. Maybe a Bible verse or something something. And I'll have little Bible verses in between the songs to maybe inspire you for something. A reason to thank God. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. To praise him. And that's that's what we're here for. To praise him. So we'll start with that. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for this time when we can worship you. I pray, Lord, that we will be mindful of all the things that you have done for us. The blessings, the answered prayers, and Lord, the, the prayers that you answered even before they took place. Where you took care of us and you took problems out of our way that we didn't even know about. Lord, I, I pray that this day we will share your goodness so that others will know how good you've been to each one of us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, and then just actually a couple announcements. So, um, so we can have more time to fellowship with each other and visit with Brendan and Sarah and Tay. Um, we brought food for potluck. Some of you I got hold of, and so there is plenty, plenty of food downstairs that everybody can stay. Whether you brought anything or not, um, we would love to have everybody stay and hang out. And, we, we always have fun together. So, anyway, so we have that after church today, and then um, next Saturday at six, um, if you want to come, we are going to do our first movie night. We're going to watch uh, Jesus Revolution, and great movie. So hopefully you guys can come out for that. And anything else? Baptisms are oh, going yeah. to be on Baptisms, July 14th. Yeah, we had to change the date. So Baptism Sunday now is on the 14th of July. So. Still going to be at, at Cheryl's, and it'll be after church on the 14th. Yes. That's like two weeks or something. Three? Some. Three weeks? It's coming yeah. up. Time's flying by. All right, all right, so let's all stand. Go to the Lord and worship this morning. We've got some good, fun songs that we know and love.
may be seated. They can't stand on the No. <laughs> the Lord is great and highly and highly praised. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation will declare your works to the next and will proclaim your mighty acts. I will speak of your splendor and glorious majesty and your wonderful works. They will proclaim the power of your awe-inspiring acts, and I will declare your greatness. They will give a testimony of your great goodness and will joyfully sing of your righteousness. Who's got testimony? You know, I'm thankful. Are you? Got a wife and kids. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. I'm yeah. thankful for rain today. Thankful for rain. Amen. Yeah. Flowers. Yeah. I thank God that my son was home Thursday to take me to the hospital. Yeah. Amen. 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 And we're thankful that you're here. <laughs> so yeah, keep keep Sean in your prayers. He's uh, going to have have an upcoming surgery. So keep him in your prayers. Thanks. All right, want to get to another song yeah. again? Okay. All right. So be thinking on any testimonies you got. Okay, because he lives.
And um, so one of the things that I'm thankful for is, um, Sorry. Oh, there we go. Start the and it's Ab Sunday. It is. Um, so Luke, um, over the last three, four weeks or so, he's he had in the Navy and everything else, he had kind of gotten away from God. He still believed, but wasn't going to church and wasn't reading his Bible and stuff. And over the last month, he's just forget back. Up, or like just he, he says he's reading his Bible two, three times a day. He's back to church. He's doing Bible studies. And um, there's, there's nothing better than that that doing that. So, of course, I'll be praying for all three of them for whatever comes about. But um, that, that's just been a, a real blessing. So. Yep. Okay, let's see. What, what's the next one? 10,000 Reasons. Got 10,000 Reasons. Praise you. Okay, down this <laughs> so I'm going to use this place a little. All right, ready? At least 10,000. At least. <laughs> salvation all day long though I cannot sum them up I came because of the mighty acts of the Lord God I will pro proclaim your righteousness yours alone Amen. 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 who else who's got testimony so, I, I, I'm not going to try not to cry but last week I was 
Okay. Yesterday, my whole family was going down to Florida, and they got in a car accident. Oh. And this guy ran a red light or something, and just plowed in a, into a, a 50 or 60 miles an hour, and they came back only with wood flash. <laughs> hey, man. Praise the Lord. He's good. God he protects good. us, yeah. and he protects our loved ones even when, before we can pray for him. Amen. I thanked Amen. him last night a dozen times. Yeah, that's right. Hey, and I do that. I do that too. When I when I think about something that he's done after the fact, I thank him for it. Yeah. When, yeah. As soon as I Amen. think of that, we should do that. Amen. All right, what we got next? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. testimonies. You all heard me that, you know, when I was a teenager, I used to make people cry intentionally <laughs> <laughs> because it was fun for teenagers. Um, I got saved when I was 15, and I would like to tell you that I just followed God all of my days after that, but I did. Um, I got pregnant when I was 19. I got married when I was 19, and I got comfortable with God. It was like a hot cold. I was either really hot and on fire, or I was really cold. And I was young, and I was learning my way through life, and I was learning my way through God. But then I ended up, um, you know, 13 years later with a divorce, two kids. Um, the church I was in, of course, turned their back on me, and I blamed God. I didn't realize at the time that the church is not God. Amen. God never turned his back on me. Right. It was the church that did it. Well, I walked away from the church. I walked away from God, but he never walked away from me. Amen. I could always feel him still working in my life. And I would have friends that go, now, George, when you go back to church, is that something you want to be doing? Or you want to be acting like that when you go back to church? You know, you want to be talking like that? So, you know, my friends knew that this wasn't a life that I was going to stay in. My friends knew that 
My heart belonged to God. At that time, I was trying to push him away. But they were reminding me, said, George, um, these were not Christian friends, by the way, that were telling me this. This was just people who knew me for so many years. They knew my heart, even when I did. So um, I was six years. I didn't go to church. I didn't pray. I didn't, I didn't do anything. It was six years. And one day I had an accident, and it could have been a bad one. A gentleman hit me in the side. He spun me around, and I ended up one foot from a gas main. And when the firemen showed up, and they covered my car to cut me out, they said, one more foot and her car would have blown. And I knew God was giving me another chance. At that moment, at that very moment, I knew God was saying, I'm not done with you. I'm not done. So, so I went, I, I was driving from one of my doctor's appointments and I passed the church Hope. And that was the name, Hope. I still had hope. I walked away from God six years before, but I still had hope. And my life changed. That next Sunday, I was in that church. I was in that seat. I was fully committed to God. I'm not saying that everything in my life is like I'm always doing what's right and everything like that, but I'm telling you that that day when I walked into that church, life was different because I had come home. I'd never, God was sitting there waiting on me. I was like, like the, the child that went away from his father and came back. I was the prodigal son. I, I had come home. Hey, wait, because one more Lord. thing, because one more thing, because while she was at that church, Spirit True Fellowship swooped in there and scooped her out. <laughs> they oh. actually did. Oh. I, I, they had been well, praying. Well, she left with, she left with us. Yeah, they were they were praying for a uh, someone to, to lead their teenagers, and that's what I did. So um, my life changed, and you know, it, oh my goodness, I can't even hardly believe. I can't even hardly think of those six years before. Why did I ever leave? But I learned. I learned that God never gives up on us. But I didn't know how you got the hope. Now I know that. And now, yes. And now I can see how God did that. And God yes. did that. Also, I hope you got Brian. I did. I did. <laughs> so, so I was single for six years, and two years later, I married for, or I met, I met Brian. So um, I spent about about two years of hope when I met him, and then the story is happily ever after. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so I got God in. The love of my life. So, Praise the Lord. so um, but I wanted to share that since we were doing testimony, you know, I'm human. I fell in and out of love with God. So, and I just thank Him every day that He didn't. He didn't turn His back on me. He stayed in there with me, and He kept calling me, wooing me back. And it took an accident, literally, to open my eyes to that. I'm not done with you. You need to step right back in there. Amen. So, and then I never knew, because I had never taught before. So I never knew he was going to be pulling me back in. And then, you know, two years later, oh, by the way, you're, you're going to be teaching. So. So that's, that's like another miracle right there. That yeah. How well you've done with it. So, and I love my boys. Yeah. I do. I love my boys. So that just sparked me with a real quick one. That means that I've known you for about 20 years. Yes. And I'm thankful that I'm still getting older. <laughs> I mean, as opposed to not growing up, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I've had a lot of good times with the boys, and God has given me that. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for all you do in our lives, Father, and that you never turn your back on us. We might turn our backs on you, Father, but you're right there calling us back. And that you, you're, you're right by our side, Father. I thank you that you protected me during that six years. I thank you, Father, that, that you never gave up on me. 
help everyone to remember, Father, that you don't give up. You're always there. We're human. We might give up, but you don't. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time with you, and we thank you that we're able to gather here with, with our family, Father. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, I, I thank you. I pray that you'll just touch our hearts today, Father, and just, just help us to feel you, Father. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that and ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> what? We got another question. All right. Ready to sing again? They probably stay seated for this one. You can stay seated if you want. You can stand if you want, too. It's up to you guys. Yeah. We freedom. Yeah. We celebrate freedom. We have some freedom to sit or stand. And can anybody break dance? You can. <laughs> well, you know, I broke I broke thirty bones. I'll say, is that breaking like dancing and breaking bones? Or? Well, that's what, <laughs> when I, after I broke all those bones, now I can. It's oh, really yeah. easy. I mean, it's just like it's like there's nothing in there. He's it's basically made of jello now. It's pretty much. Yeah. Okay, that's all I got in my life, by the way. It's true. Dancing. Yeah. 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 He was a, a friend. A, a friend, true story. A friend invited me over. Buckeye Bill's daughter. And yes, Ned. Buckeye Bill's daughter and Ned invited me over because she knew that I had a crush on him. He was out in the street on a cardboard box break dancing. <laughs> How was he doing? Love it. Huh? How was he doing? Oh, he was probably, good. Probably better then than he is now. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. He was on the ground. Yeah, I I now I, if I do that, I can't get back up. Okay, right? Yes. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty, one of my favorites. My, my turn in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Song? Yes. Okay, now here's 
here's the, my testimony. My testimony is I thank God for all of you. Aww. Yeah. You too, Reagan. <laughs> uh, I, re I really do. Dude, this, it's awesome. It's awesome church to be in. Amen. And I, I, I love you guys. And I praise the Lord for each one of you. I pray for each one of you all the time. Yep. And probably not as much as I should. But I'll pray more. I'll pray more. But it's, it's an awesome church to be in. Praise the Lord for that. So, we love hey, you too, Pastor. We thank you. Too. Thank you, John. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. So we're going to sing uh, when we all get to heaven next, I think. Yep. That it? Sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to Yahweh. Praise his name. Proclaim his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonderful works among all peoples. Let's sing.
everybody, let's go downstairs and get something to eat. Before we go, let's, have one more, let's pray one more time. Father in heaven, it has been a wonderful time to worship you. You yes. are worthy of our worship. Lord, we thank you for the encouragement and for the sharpening that you've given each one of us. You've quickened our faith, and we thank you for that today. And we continue to praise you as the day goes on. We thank you for the celebration that we've had so far, and the celebration we'll continue to have. Yes. In your glory, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.